Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mr. Boylan again in this video. We're gonna practice electron configurations in orbital notation. I'm gonna use this simulation to help you visualize what's going on. Next element you're asked to build an electron configuration for is lithium. I scope out my periodic table. It has an atomic number of three. So neutral atoms of lithium will have three electrons. How are they arranged in the electron cloud? That is the question and its electron configuration is the answer. Again, I'm gonna use this orbital periodic table. I'm gonna highlight the element that I'm trying to build the electron configuration for. I'm gonna start at the very top of the periodic table and move through the rows. Okay, I'm gonna use a line to indicate the first orbital that I move through. In this case, it's the 1s orbital. Now this time, I can fit one, two electrons. I'm gonna indicate those electrons using arrows but notice I'm gonna put one facing up and one facing down, indicating opposite spins. And that's all there's room for in the first main energy level, just two electrons in that 1s orbital. Next, I go to the second main energy level until I reach the element that I'm working with, in this case, lithium. Use a second line for my next orbital. This time though, we're in the second main energy level, still in an S-shaped orbital, but only one box, so I'm just gonna use one electron. This represents my electron configuration for lithium. Two of its electrons are in the first main energy level in an S-shaped sublevel. One of its electrons is in the second main energy level in an S-shaped orbital. How can we better visualize that? Let's take a look at this simulation. First, my 1s orbital. In it, I can fit two electrons. Boom! But that's the total number of electrons that I can fit in that orbital. And I still need to find a space for one more. Now I'm gonna take the 2s orbital, notice it's further from the nucleus, and I'm gonna add lithium's final electron. Again, use this simulation to help you better visualize what's going on with the electron cloud. Okay, and lastly, let's practice quantum numbers by writing a set of quantum numbers for the final electron to fill in lithium, which was this one. Remember, you need four quantum numbers, first of which is the principal quantum number. And that number just tells us what main energy level this electron is in. In this case, this last electron is in the second main energy level. Next, I need to know what shape orbital it's in. As I look, I notice it's in an S-shape orbital. But remember, that corresponds to an angular momentum quantum number of zero. Now, what's its orientation quantum number, or magnetic quantum number? Because it's an S-shaped orbital, there's only one of those in the second main energy level. So its orientation number is also zero. And then finally, because it's the first electron in that orbital, I'm gonna assign it the positive one half spin number. Again, I could write a set of quantum numbers for each of these electrons, but for the purposes of this video and on your worksheet, we're just gonna write a set of quantum numbers for that last one to fill. 